Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's my birthday and what a way to celebrate. We've gone into fourth. It's West Ham, sorry, Crystal Palace 2, West Ham 3. We just conceded right at the end there, unfortunately. Would have been a nice 3-1 win, but a 3-2 win all the same. And I'm going to say it here and now. I'll tell you what, we are a different club this year. We, we're a good good football team and that's a nice thing to be able to say let alone where we are in the league and the results we are pulling off we are a very very good football team this year that is six wins on the bounce seven undefeated what more could you want what more could you want as a West Ham fan at the minute apart from going to buy a striker in the next few days so we've got someone there for cover if Antonio does break down at any point I'll tell you what now though that Liverpool game at the weekend is massive it's huge, huge, huge game in terms of where we can go and what we can start to believe and what we can start to hope for this season. So let's just go through it a little bit. Um, so obviously it was back to you know your usual players in seven changes from the Doncaster game it was back to a sort of what I would consider our first eleven. Um, Palace did have Zaha back, and you know right early on into the game Zaha did make it one nil again. Bit poor defending, backing off. Um, but, you know, we all know Zaha's got that quality to put it in. And he did make it 1-0. And I was really frustrated at that point. I was like, oh, come on, guys. This is a team we've got to go and beat. Didn't take long, though. Um, the ball was played in. And Antonio just did so, so well. We, you know, he gambled. He carried on running. And he was able to flick it back onto Socek's head for 1-1. Big Tom with another goal, which is just brilliant to see. How good is that man? And how, what a bargain that man is. And how much is he worth now? Um... Game continued, you know, we had a few more chances. And then again, in comes the ball. Um, I think, what was it? It, it was it was seen whether it was Antonio offside or an Antonio and ball. And then who does it fall to again? Big Tom again. And we're 2-1 up. Amazing. What what an amazing, um, you know, turnaround that quickly. Um, we could have been 4-5-1 up at half-time. Antonio had, had a few. Um, Cresswell had one we he scuffed the shot and it fell to Antonio and it just didn't go in. There was one where, uh, that was the same one actually where Fonell should have hit it. Um, there was another one for Socek. There was just so, so many chances. I, I couldn't write them all down. I couldn't remember them all. There was just so many in that first half where we should have been out of sight. I thought Saeed Ben Rama was just unplayable at times tonight. Dropping a shoulder, the passing was there. Just the clever intricacy. Um, the way he gets out of trouble. I thought Sue Fowl was fantastic down that right hand side today. Just brilliant all over the pitch to be honest with you. Um, so two one up at half time was brilliant. Um, and we were definitely, you know, the better team and again just needed that next goal to really get my uh you know calm me down a bit. Um second half started, I thought Palace were the better team for uh, you know the first sort of good 15, 20 minutes of that half. Um just seemed to have be control controlling the game a bit more. Um, again, we went kept going though, didn't we? And then Craig Dawson, um, eventually, again, Craig Maldini, as I call him, put the header in and made it 3-1. Again, we'd missed a couple of chances before that as well. And to, uh, just lucky, just unlucky. Um, there was one where Antonio was through um, and he hit the post. He hit the post in the first half as well. We hit the post so many times. Um, there was a header that we missed. Um, I remember Ben Rama, I think, did he put one across and then Antonio just missed it and then Ben Rama was nearly there for the follow-up. Um, this game could have been 6-7-1 at one point. We, we were just all over them. It's some of the best football I've seen us play in a long time. We just looked we looked like we had a really good counter-attack. You know, it, it looked like we had players that when they was on the ball could do something. You know, they was going to find that pass. And it was nice to see us attacking down the middle. Not just the crossing all the time. We was really, you know, unpredictable in our attacking. Um, just a fantastic performance. Um, Yarmolenko came on for a bit. Fredericks come on, um, you know, just to change the legs up a bit. And I did. That's the only thing I thought Moyes was like, "Come on, Dave, just bring them subs on. Just don't throw this away now." Um, didn't really have to do much defensively. They put in a fantastic shift. As I, you know, looks like a really good player for them. Um, and he was causing us trouble for a lot of the game. Um, they did score right at the end there. Michi Bastiai, you know, the man who's always linked and always turns us down. I'm, you know, not that I want him now, but back in the day, he was one that was always linked to us, wasn't he? Yeah, and he's just put it in there just just to rub the uh, what you know 
three two makes the result more respectable for them. But I think you know we could that should have been fours and fives that game. We we were just so so good today. As I say, we go into fourth above Liverpool, at least for tonight. You know they play Tottenham tomorrow, so uh, a draw probably be a good one again. We'll be you know be level one points when they'll go above us because of gold. So I'll take the draw in that game. Um, you know, and then we go into that game against Tottenham. Uh, sorry, against Liverpool the weekend, and who knows? Who knows? Tell you what, Liverpool. If Liverpool could pick a t pick a couple of teams they wouldn't want to play at the minute, I bet we would be in there. Probably City, Man United, and us are probably teams you would not want to play at the moment. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the game. My man of the match was Saeed Ben Rama. I thought he was fantastic. You know, very close with Thomas Sochek as well. You know, two goals. Like I say, what is that man worth now? Forty-five million, fifty million. And we might get a little bit too excited. I, I, I think a proven goal scoring midfielder in the Premier League, God knows how much he's worth now. Anyway, keep believing. Come on, your irons. Champions League, who knows? Whoop, whoop. Let's go.